the, the selection of a chief basically is, um, depends on the queen mother with the consultation of the Abusia Penny or the family, the, the, the royal family head, who happens to be the Bakuma Hene and um, Oba Penny. Uh, normally, Oba Penny is quite different from the queen mother. He happens to be the mother line, the eldest of the mother line. She happens to be the Oba Penny. And the legitimate queen mother, who, who is certified or gazetted. So she, in consultation with the, the Oba Penny and the family head, choose a regent who happens to be a successor to the chief. So when a regent is chosen, he is then taken to the Jase Hene. Then the, the Jase will take him to the Kroti Hene. The Kroti Hene, uh, he happens to be the second in command in terms of the, the traditional setup. So when it comes to the traditional setup, he is the vice president, like he is going to be the second in commander, like the vice so he will then take him to the something we call a dynasty apartheid locally that's how we call it he'll be kept in the room for 40 days so we we, we we say a dynasty apartheid for 40 days so during that time he'll be taught how to properly wear cloth how chiefs talk how he walks how he dance traditionally we have the traditional dance for chiefs that is a phantom from dance the other dance as well so he'll be thinking through those staffs within that 40 days. Then he'll then be taken to the black stool room. That is where he'll pick a name, a name will be given to him. Because when you are sent to a throne, your your, your private name definitely change. So he'll be taken to the black stool room. Then he'll be given a name there. Then he'll be brought he'll, he'll brought out to swear the oath of allegiance to whatever chief that he is under, or if he's not under any chief, if he's not under any paramountcy, any supreme chief like that, then he, 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 he will swear the oath of allegiance to his uh, subject. That is the Kunti Hene will sit in place and take the oath of allegiance. Then after the allegiance, he will then sit in state and take oath of allegiance from his subject. Each one of them will swear the oath of allegiance to him. So now he has taken his power as a chief of the traditional area. So, Basically, that is how the, the traditional background, and that is how a chief is picked and swear the oath of allegiance. So once he swear the oath of allegiance, that means he has become chief. So now he has taken his, his power. So, so within the the dark room you made mention of, yeah. how many days is the the new person that has been selected to become a king or a chief? It doesn't it doesn't take this. It's just a matter of hours or something like that. He just go there, do some rituals, giving a name to, to that, that person. And he'll be, but he'll be, he'll be kept in a room. That is not the dark room. That's not where the black stool is. That is what we call a Nessie Apatem. That is, he'll be taught how chiefs normally, you know, they have, they have they have a way of talking. They have a way of walking. They have a way of uh, wearing clothes. You know, some people are, you have what, what we call Deshebrantie. Deshebrantie, all royals are at Deshe. Deshe means royal. Right, but it's not all of them can ascend to the throne. Yes, one of them. So once you are, and mo most most of them live reckless life and, and stuff, right? So before you, you can ascend to, you have you have to have certain certain manners or certain ca ca character. So you just, you, you, nobody just ascend to a throne just anyhow. Like that. you don't have to be quick tempered, to be tolerant sometimes. With a good heart, you have your popular heart. Developmental innovations, ideas, and stuff. Basically, that they have been taught for 40 days. No food, no water. No, they, they eat. They save them with food. They, they, they do everything there. They like, they have ostracized you for some time. They, they are taking you through the traditional setup. You, you, you can't just be made a chief without knowing the traditional dance, the phantom from dance. The, the chief has a way of talking. The, they have a way of wearing clothes and stuff. So you have to be properly taken groomed to know how it is done before you've been brought out to, to, to spread the water for Which people teach the new chief all these things? That is the Ankobia Hene. He, he normally takes that position. And um, you'll be taken through the dancing with the Asukwa people or the Achiamadi people. As a drum. But they don't not usually use the drums to teach you the dances. Normally they use the gong gong. But the dance, the drumming, 
goes with the con 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 you know how the con con is being beaten that's how they uh, so they use the the con con to teach you the traditional dances how was it like growing up in the palace i wouldn't say uh, it's, it's a misfeeling you know uh, i think it's a privilege it's not something that i think i chose to be brought up that way but i think i was privileged to father in is his late of date, but yeah, I was born and brought up in the past. So there's a lot of privileges that go with it. Somehow, if you're not careful, to you'll be over pumping. And <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes, if you're not careful, you'll be over pumping. And that can also have effect on you sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you just have to balance being a royal or something like that. And the normal life as well. So, growing up in the palace, what life were you expected to live? Actually, because your father is a renowned person, sometimes people look up, people just look up to you for certain things. Uh, so, your peers, your colleagues can do certain things that you are not permitted to do sometimes because because of your pa your, your father, your partner, or, or your, your your family lineage uh, lifestyle that, that, that is positive for, for society okay understand something that that brings shame and stuff to the family so it normally it, it shapes you in a certain way but you just have to be cautious and don't be too or, or, like don't be too pumped pump because of you're, you're from that family as well because sometimes eh, you, you've just been privileged to have such opportunities that everybody don't have no, we are all humans, but we can't all be from such a thing. So that is it. If I'm to walk into a palace, what are some of the things that I'm supposed to do and not do? Walking into palace, like, you can't just walk into palace just like that. Why? What is your mission there? Then you have, you're, no, you, you, you should have a reason why you're going to the palace. And uh, going there, you have to see the linguist. That is the achame, as we call them. And tell them your mission, the reasons of coming there and what you're coming there to do. But they are, they call them like they are traditional wives of the chiefs. So they talk to the chief directly. You cannot talk to him, especially when uh, they are addressing it, they're having the education cases and stuff. You, can, you, you address the chief through the the linguist is the linguist the only the, the only person that, that can talk directly to the chief is the linguist so you don't you look at them you talk to them and they will translate it to the chief the chief will talk the linguist will tell you what, what the chief so they are the main math is the chief so before you, you go you, you go to the palace or do anything over there you consult them first is it their permission time and stuff like that why is it that when you go to the palace you can't look into a chief I and talk to the chief. That is tradition. I'm an Akan. You know, Akans hold in high esteem their tradition. They don't sell it out for anything that you understand. So that is how traditionally, customarily, it is done. You don't have to look at the chief. Traditional setup, you don't have to look at the chief. Because you can't talk to him directly. Why do you have to look at him in the first place? So you look at whom you can talk to. So you, if the chiefs sit, like, let me say, uh, uh, at your right, you look at the language, who, who, who will sit in front of you, so you, you, you face this direction while the chief sits here. So you can just look at him and talk to him anyhow. No, it is not accepted traditionally. If, if you even do that, they have something they call didia. It's a foul didia. It's something, it is something forbidden to do in the past. You do that, it's a foul didia. That is where the Hinkwa or the Hinkwa people that get their money from. It's also, <laughs> because they, they, they have some money that they call it Ntihun. So they take their money. And that is instant. Once you commit a fire year on fire, you are instantly they will take their charge. That's so instantly you're supposed to pay the money. For them. So that's more or less like a fine. Yes, a fine. So and that's an instant fine. They can <laughs> they come go and come. And how much is it? But it depends. It's not a fixed price. When a chief dies, what are some of the rituals that is being performed? Uh, uh, chiefs, when a chief die, 
I think the very moment the chief died, it is called Amosu. So that means you're not supposed to let people know that the chief is dead for some time. They have something that they have to do, they have some rituals they have to perform and stuff like that before they come out to announce it officially. But they, they believe chief doesn't die, but they believe there's life after death. So they don't even use that, that word death to address <laughs> chiefs when, when, when they are dead. Mm. Yeah, they don't, they don't use that. So it will, be, it, it, will, it will remain a Mosul for some time. So uh, they'll come out to announce it officially. And uh, if they announce it, then in the one week will be taken from them. But a whole lot of rituals goes into it. <laughs> to when the chief dies, especially when he's been laid in state. The current traditional chief's funeral normally starts on Tuesdays. Tuesdays and end of Thursdays. And uh, there are certain, certain people who are permitted to see the body. It's not everybody that has to be able to do this. So you see, they, have, they mark the royals, children and the grandchildren with some clay. They have a white clay that we call, we call Shiri. They have the red one that we call Nshuma. Well, we use the clay to mark a uh, That shows the execution is that these are royals, uh, the descendants of the chiefs. They have the right to go to where the bodies. Uh, aside that, I think uh, the chiefs also, but the chiefs go there. If they're going there, they have to step in the blood, in the blood you know. The chief have to be slaughtered. They have to be stopped. The chiefs happening before they go to where the bodies. So they have to step in the ship blood before they get to where yeah that is tradition. And um people are not also they, there's this thing that people are not very much aware of that where a chief has been laid in state, if you're going there to pay uh, whether to pay a last respect or something like that. For women, you don't have to put on something like earring or necklace or watches in a Anything like that, jewelry stuff, you don't have to put anything. And you don't have to put satins, uh, necklace, or wristband, watch or whatever. Because they believe you don't have to challenge him because he, he, he has been dressed with his full regalia, you know. You, not being chief, don't have to put on anything like that. that looks like a um, ornament. will not spare you when you take the sustenance inside sometimes it, it creates a whole lot of pain sometimes you know especially the women so that you see some 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 taking off the, the earrings first and first, first so it, it, some sometimes they, they, they have thorn in their ears and stuff could you take it off by force you don't have to put it in on okay. when you won't go there so when they see it on they, they won't ask you to take it off you're just not supposed to take it on before you go there. So they will not tell you to take it on. They will take it off by force. By force. And they won't take their time in taking it off. They just... Royal... <laughs> royal transition is meant for royal. So if you're not... If you're not a chief, if you're not a royal family... Even if you're not from that royal family, that the chief is there, I don't think it's necessary for you to You can just be hanging around, looking at things and stuff like that. But you don't have to be what do you say going inside to see anything else. Oh, okay. so those that are permitted to go into that room are also royals yeah Roy royals are permitted not because ordinary they, people they have mark that's why they have that chuma that, that red clay that we call chuma we have it on them the chili right the white one and the grand the grand is the grand is really sweet you're going there with such earrings or such necklaces and chains and stuff like that they are, those things are not permitted but the chiefs that are coming they are not using the, the gold staff they are not using the silver staff they are using some, something they call nkapo it is main, main, purely meant for, for funeral so you don't, you don't see anything bristling or shining in, in it it's purely black or red or something like that yeah. but it is only the chief who has been laid in state that is interest like the Roma or festival or something like that. He's been dressed with full regalia with his golden accessories and stuff like that. When they're coming, 
in like as a private man wearing such ornaments. It's like you're challenging <laughs> the chief. Yeah, so it's not permitted. You you may mention that when the chief dies, you don't say the chief is dead. Mm -hmm. What what word are you supposed to use? Normally, for a brief period of time, I mean, immediately it dies. It, it is it, it is called a muscle. That's nobody. That that one is is nobody supposed to say he's dead. Even his his children, his wife, the royals, everybody. You know, the, the caution not to let people know that something of that nature has happened. So so they come out officially to announce that is when they say the Napo Ekra. Say Okwe Ekra. So the chief has gone to the village. That is how they a layman like me, I don't have that knowledge and I, I go there and I say Ohini excuse me but Ohini Neu I'll be fine. It it depends on where where you say it and who is around you. Okay. So why is it that when the chief dies, they don't announce it immediately and sometimes the, the chief is buried after years. I'm told that the chief can be buried after sometime after one year, two years, three years. I think my uncle father, I think he was there for three years before he was buried. Ten years? Three years. Why? Uh, sometimes um, it, it is litigational issues. There's some litigation who wants to ascend to the tomb, the next one question they understand stuff. Sometimes too, they have a whole lot of things that they look they look out for, a whole lot of tradition that they have to pay for, a whole lot of things that has to go on. So, so everything has been met. I think that is that's why sometimes it's, it's not something that you can do within a month or two. It takes time. Within that three years, he, is he still reigning as a chief? Until until you're being buried. You're still the chief. So he he's he's still performing the He's dead. Mm -hmm. Alright, anyway, but until you're being buried, you are still the chief. Because there has been there there has not been a successor. So once there's not been a successor, you still run as the chief. Until you're being buried, the black stool is being made for you. That is why you can say that he's here. It's passed on to the ancestral. So when the chief is buried, that's when they can now choose another one. Or they will choose it before the chief is buried. Even if they choose you, you cannot swear the oath until he has been buried. Because you can't dethrone him. So he has to be buried before you're taken to the process. But why weren't you made a, a chief? Manakan. Okay. Manakan out our <laughs> talent go to the motherland. So he was my father who was the chief. That's the thing. A typical barrier for a chief, aside from being laid in state for that three years. Chiefs are normally buried in the night. In the night? Yeah, they're not supposed to be buried in the during the daytime. They're being buried in the night. Nobody's supposed to see the coffin in the to the cemetery. Nobody's supposed to see that. So they will first of all announce it that this is the road that we are going to take. So nobody, around this time, nobody should come. Normally, they do of the lights of Alpha. That section of it. Um, before you will be taken to the Bermo. Bermo is where chiefs have been kept. They have been buried. So you don't have to see when it's being moved. You have to see. That is, uh, when you come across it, that is <laughs> it has it has an impl implication as well because you don't have to see it at all. Uh, I think recently. I think tradition is dynamic somehow because of ordinization. Yeah, in, in during those days, in the olden days, when you come across it, you just instantly kill. So you're not supposed to see it. It is normally done in the night. Even the black stools, black stools. I think they have a ritual that they do for it every year. It's the normal thing that they do. In the, in the black stool, you don't have to see. They are taking it out. Normally, they, they take it out to a stream to give it a spiritual bath or something like that. So it has been taken out, or they take it out in the night as well. They don't take it out during the day. They, 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 they pronounce it. I want to. So I want you to have to see it. So during the burial, to they announce it that now now be you know, buried. You know, you know, he will be laid in state from Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Thursday he'll be buried. Thursday he'll be buried. When he's been buried, after, after maybe after five or six, you'll be a careful. You don't have to come. 
You would have to come. You would have to see the coffin. It's only the chiefs who have the right to swear the oath of allegiance because they do it in the night as well. So they come there in the night, swear their oath of allegiance before he's been taken. So those that swear the oath of allegiance, does that include the new chief that has been selected? No, no, no. You, you cannot swear the oath of allegiance to him. The new, the regent has done have swear it for It is a subject. They are already subject to work already. So the regent issue will, will come after he has been buried. Once he is there, once he has not been buried, you don't have any issue concerning chieftaincy at all. Because until he's he, he's been buried, that is where we, we, we look for the successor. Once he's there, he still means. So once he's been laid in state, he's still a king. Reigning. That is why they swear the oath of allegiance to him before he's been taken into the coffin for burial. That's the last thing. So Nana Kofum, that's what you said. Okokra. Nana Kokra. Nana has gone to the village, right? When there's a case. Nana, the Otiame will listen to it and pass it to Nana. Nana now is being laid in state. When How they, is that? When, 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 when they say case, that's why we have we have the Kuti, the Kuti Hene. That is the Kuti Hene has corrupted to that is the next thing coming. So he assumed the position of the in his absence. He, he take charge until a new chief. But why is it that people are not being educated around things like this? I think recently people see tradition as um, a demonic or something like that. Very, very <laughs> and true. I, um, I, 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 to differ, but I don't see where that thing can, really comes from because even the wise that brought us Bible have a tradition. Where in the Bible is Christmas? Is there Christmas in the Bible? <laughs> I don't think I've come across Christmas, Christmas in the Bible. Bible. But, but Christmas was when Jesus was born. Is it in the Bible? I don't think so. And the Bible uh, has the Bible recorded a date and a day that Christ was born. No. Probably the, the Christmas might be some somebody's tradition. And we just impose it on to us and we are just celebrating it without a basic like how it came about. But the wise have their tradition. The, the, the go to Israel now, they have the traditions. You know, so we are Ghanaians, we are Africans, and we have our own traditions. So we're just looking at, down on, on our tradition and just seeing everything that we do. I don't, I, I don't see tradition as an evil. The, the rumors that people hear are the things that people consume, and then it becomes like that is the way of life, or that is what they have to believe. And that is where the tradition is demonic, is bad comes in. I think, I think Ghanaians or Africans and we, I don't know how to put it out, but I think we like foreign culture more than our own, um, okay. even our language. Mm -hmm. our language. I, where I live now, I have some equipment like that. They do not speak. They don't their local languages with their kids. Oh. What do they speak? They speak English. <laughs> the kids cannot speak their mother tongue. They speak English at school. They come from they speak English. When they speak truth to him, when they speak their, their local language to him, they are confused. I, I do not think English man will sideline his own language. They speak truth to the kids? No, never. At least, let, let us appreciate uh, where we come from. Our language is, uh, you know, that that is that that is our significant. That tell us that that tell people where we come from. So until we learn to appreciate our own, I think this things keep going because now I don't know whether it's churches or something like that. If if I I know some people who have been called out for things like that and they are just rejecting it because they, th they see being a chief or it's demonic it's demonic my my my, my father 
was a Christian. I, I, most of the chiefs now are Christians. They have their chest that that they go. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that if you're a chief you cannot go to church. They go to church. I think my father's best book was Bible. He used to read Bible a lot. Still, he was a chief. But sometimes people were just asking me why. And so go libation foreign is not the chief's duty. Though it is being done in his name, but these are things that are changing. And it is tradition. Even if you cannot look at a chief who is mortal and talk to him, you have to talk to him through some, some someone else. But they see God as a supreme. So God see, is above them. Everybody. It's true. It's so true. you just cannot just stand anywhere at any, any time and just talk to God. Any, you know, there have to be some channel that you have to pass through. But tradition is tradition. It's not, it's not demonic. It's not evil. It's not nothing like that. But why are we rejecting our tradition? That is, that is, I don't, I don't know, but that is, I don't know whether it is because of Christianity, or modernization, or civilization, or whatever. I don't know, but I do not see why we should reject it. Reject our, our, our tradition. It is, it is our identity. Tradition is our identity. Like, I am an Akan. I know certain things that traditionally we do. So if I even go to anywhere, I go to anywhere where there's a function or something like that, yeah. the variety of tradition being performing over there. Once I see the sound of the account tradition, no, 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 this is this is my side. This is where I belong. I belong to. Yeah. This is where I belong. That's why we have something we call Pinisini in the, in the various palaces. Uh, we have Bentia. Tennessee, Tennessee, each and every chief have has a way or the sound that has been assigned to it. They, they know how to drop the how, how the drum works. It's not like the phantom from or the phantom from. Phantom from is played with keywords that it's been played literally by any traditional. But the Tennessee is different. See? So sometimes we say we refer to Hina Banya. Wait, that was Jabasi. That is many forget or you don't know the sound of the trumpet of your, of your or, or, or the home, or, yeah, or your village because that's a background because me my own for for instance it is being played like so if i hear that thing i know that this is my side which means what you just sang was the meaning it is a sound or a word that has been there for ages yeah that has been assigned for that hmm. what's the the good and bad side of tradition when you look at it uh i think the i'll talk i'll start with a bad 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 one mm -hmm. first because especially when a chief dies mm -hmm. the length of time it normally takes <laughs> Some sometimes this happening because like your father or your mother, close relative that take care of you or something like that died, and you're forbidden to weep or wail or for some time. You know, it's not easy because if you've seen your father lying there dead, and you're not permitted to cry instantly, it's, it's something awful because at least you you you, you should be permitted to. At least moon. <laughs> yeah. Just cry out your heart. It's not easy. And uh, you'll be kept there for some time. You know. Because once he he's been buried, you become free. Like it, it goes off your mind. You just forget it. Forget about it for, for, for some time. Uh, the body is still there for years. Always. It, it feels fresh. It, it feels like he, 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 he just died of he, he just, you know. Sometimes that is the bad side of it. And I think um, the good side of it is um, it, it comes with a whole lot of pri privileges as well. Because I, I don't think if I needed something that someone else needed around my, my area, I'll have to go and queue for it. I'll have to go. I'll not, I'll not stress myself for it. Everybody have to queue. Because if I'm going with my father, he, he don't have to queue. So I, certainly I don't have to queue. You're the French. So they look out for you first. That they finish with you. 
So that is it. It comes with the following privileges. When the death <laughs> comes in, that is where the problem lies. The problem is. lies. Yeah, because it's very stressful. It's very stressful. And um, it is, it is no, you, you wouldn't be laid in state for a day sometimes. It goes to certain days. You have to keep up with me because you go there early in the, the, the dawn. It's very stressful at that time. That time. In, 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 in 30 seconds, advise us and then we can close. I think tradition is tradition. Okay. Wherever you come from, wherever you find yourself, I think tradition. Is, God knows where, why He brought us <laughs> where we are. We cannot just ignore tradition. See, we live in life. It is our identity, so we have to embrace whatever. No matter how we have to embrace our tradition. We don't have to see it as evil or satanic or something like that. Because what, what, what we are, even the Bible, what it tells us or what it teaches us, has a lot of tradition in it. In the Bible, it has a lot of tradition in it. We cannot scrap our own tradition and embrace a foreign tradition that we do not know the origin of it. That is it. That is it. Okay, guys, God bless everyone for watching. My name is Dr. Sam. God bless my boss for coming to share this in depth knowledge when it comes to tradition, chieftaincy, and a whole lot of things. Until we meet again, it is bye bye for myself and my boss. Bye bye.